on severe, we really have to get up to that one inch or quarter size before that hail starts becoming enough to do damage. And we did not have any damage reports. In fact, looked more like dipping dots out there today. This was a, a very close up shot from Michael and West Bloomfield that we got in on storm pins. Uh, but it wasn't all not so good stuff. We got beautiful pictures of these rainbows that I think just about everybody saw uh, once that sun came out in the afternoon. Beautiful and bright against some of those darker clouds. And we thank everybody for those storm pin submissions. Of course, remember, it's on the local forecasters app. You can drop your pictures and video there as well. 49, still some light rain, at least at Metro right now, but the winds are shifting. They're out of the northwest. And because of that direction, Lakeshore flood advisories are up for Sanilac and St. Clair County tomorrow until 4 p.m. So onshore uh, flooding could be a possibility, some minor flooding there along the lakeshore in those two counties. Otherwise, we start tomorrow. The only place that I think we'll see some possible showers is right along that lakeshore uh, there in the thumb in the northern part of the north zone. Everybody else is dry. Saturday, we start out dry. We'll finish the day that way as well. But remember, that's going to be our coldest point of the forecast. And then a good soaking as we get into Sunday. Uh, it looks like it's continuous rain here, but I think it's going to be pockets of on and off rain. But because this system is sort of coming with a little bit more of some southerly moisture, I think we'll see a little bit more in the way of measurable rainfall than we did from these last two bursts. Monday is dry and we'll start warming up as we get into next week as well. 40 degrees tonight for that overnight low. But remember, that's a metro low. We looked at mostly 30s in that four zone forecast. Patchy frost is possible, but as long as we keep some of that wind up, uh, that should keep the frost away, except for just a few localized spots. 56 on the high side tomorrow. It does get warmer. We'll be back to the 60s by Monday, and eventually we'll get to 70s by next weekend, but a far cry from that for Saturday and Sunday. Get ready for some chilly starts if you're leaving the house early in the next couple days. Ooh. Okay, Ben, thank you.